High Kick, Hitman, Crocs, Reward Box. Yes, we Hello and welcome to Is We Dumb. I'm Dan Cummins. It's good to see you today. Joe Paisley is here with me today. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're just trying a new approach yeah. with the show. Yeah. We're tired of getting in trouble. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. tired of, you know, upsetting people and that's not what we're about. No, never have been. Really. Never have been. No, never we've been, been about peace yeah. and how it's with you mm-hmm. and peace be with you. And yes. also about like definitely when you go to communion, it you don't have a dildo in you. Whoa, I don't even like saying that word anymore. Well, I, but it's, it, it exists. We can't ignore yeah. the fact that they exist, yeah. but we just can't bring them into the show anymore. This no, is not uh, how we're going to do it anymore. Not at all. Mm-hmm. And we're going to change the name of the show to You're Smart. Because mm, right? we Dumb just feels, it feels negative. <laughs> it does. Right? It feels cruel. Oh my, oh my, I mean, oh my heck. And, and yeah, gosh dang. Gosh dang. I just, uh, I know you guys probably don't like us starting the show. I, I apologize. <laughs> For all these times, starting off with like, you know, is is we dumb and you might feel bad for us. You, and then we talk about other people doing dumb things and we don't mm-hmm. we don't know those people. And it's not he who cast the first stone is shouldn't be throwing rocks in a glass house, mm-hmm. saith the you know, Lord. Saith the Lord or Lord Lord be with saith, you. Saith Lord be with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lord's. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, we're banned on YouTube right now, but yeah. we'll, well, we should be back in a week and a half. <laughs> Suck it, Google! I was ready to do that voice the whole show. <laughs> just let it ride? Just let it ride. <laughs> just, just an hour of anti-comedy. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Dan. Hi, good Joe. To see you. Good to see good you. How, you. How was your weekend? How was Thanksgiving? Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. It was a good Thanksgiving. I do have a... Uh, I'm excited to tell my dumb story about Thanksgiving, though. <laughs> I'm excited I, to hear I it. spent it in Riggins, yeah. and we're going back there for One Star Heroes today. Mm. Or, and, or and for, for, uh, for Dumb in the Wild. Both. We're, oh, we're going fucking both! Yeah, yeah, Holy shit. yeah. Once our heroes, it's is, a double uh, Riggins whammy. It's a, it's a little Riggins uh, seven devils, and I I have this deja vu feeling. I may have talked about it, but I, if so, a long time ago, mm. it's going to be different reviews, I think. And uh-huh. it's just so funny to me this this theme that emerges in the reviews, and I understand it. Uh, but yeah, definitely have some deja vu. So call us out if we did this at one time before. I mean, we're, I still think it's going to be funny though, uh, even, even if you've uh, heard the first one. Guarantee, and, and and we might have talked about it on a different show, and that's right. the it that's all blends. the complexity of this is. We do some other stuff together. Or we might have just had a conversation about it. That's where it all starts <laughs> right. to blend. Yeah. Is so, being in the same office and then working on multiple shows that are all based on talking about a lot of things. And growing up in the same area. And growing up in the same area. <laughs> it gets, it's all it gets it's a little rel- confusing. Relatively liquid. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a very good down in the wild uh, about my mom that I am so excited to share. Good. And I, and I think it's going to become something we might talk about later <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm, fun stuff might come out of it oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited it's to get ridiculous. into it uh, just the last thing we'll say about our current YouTube band hmm. is moving forward for Is We Dumb yeah. because I'm 99% sure why we got in trouble last week for episode 69 was having the satire link to furniture sex Okay, where it was sexy ass lawn chairs and office desks and stuff having sex and it's funny, yeah. But their site must have been flagged or labeled as porn in some way, right? Or the URL I think was like furniture porn. Yeah, not good. Yeah. Um. So their uh, their auto sweepers took us out, uh, and that's why we got another strike. And I'm kind of wondering if um our lack of monetizing our YouTube channel <laughs> actually has hurt us because <laughs> they don't care. No, they don't care because somebody wrote in and they have like less than 10% of the subscribers we do. Mm. And they were talking about how like they got somebody, they have a YouTube business account and they got somebody on the line eventually to talk to us. And I was like, oh, we should do that. And then I just realized since we've never tried to make money off the YouTube side of things, Mm. (laughs) that they're probably just like, well, fuck these guys. (laughs) Like, Let them go somewhere else. Right, let them go somewhere else. Like they they will take literally not, they've not made us a cent. Mm -hmm. They've not made us one cent. I mean, it has to be something. We've taken up server space. (laughs) We've cost them money. Right. The Bad Magic Production Channel, as it grows, it only costs them more money. And you're welcome. And you're welcome. Gosh, you dang. fucking Google robot sold as fucks. <laughs> we do have a quick merch announcement heading into the holiday season. We have an Is We Dumb Christmas sweater. Yeah. Uh, and you're not watching. We're going to upload the YouTube version of, of, eventually. Someday. It'll come up next week or yeah. something. Uh, but we'll have a, a post about it on the on our socials, Is We Dumb, on both Facebook and Instagram. But that that is such a dope-ass sweater. That's awesome. It's got... So silly! Yeah, it's got Stoopy stitched in. Uh, you know, in, in perfect places. Yeah, uh, a balanced placement on this amazing kind of, kind of like that, like a native, native throwback. 
okay yeah. look mm-hmm. on this Christmas mm-hmm. sweater, yeah. which is very popular right now. So grab that and wear that fucking... Everyone can wear ugly Christmas sweaters, yeah. and you can wear one that makes you look cooler than when, them. One looks cool. But, I mean, you might get laid. <laughs> can we say you will get laid, or is that... We have to get lawyers involved. Um, hmm. Can we call Google? We, we, let's call Google. They seem to have a grasp on how you right. do things. Google, can we tell people <laughs> they're definitely going to get laid? <laughs> if you buy this Christmas sweater? I, I'm sure they'll be like, no. No, you can't. Well, it's, no, what? <laughs> too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Strike three. Sorry. <laughs> Just birds the whole way out the door. Uh, <laughs> so head over to badmagicmerch.com or isbedumb.com to check out that uh, Is We Dumb Christmas sweater. Thanks again to Logan Keith for, for getting that up there. I love that there is disclaimers for things like that, though. Mm. And that there has to be because dumb people are allowed to sue mm-hmm. way too much in this country. Mm-hmm. And, like I wish, <laughs> I wish there was some kind of like stupid bar where like uh, yeah, I guess it have to be a little bit subjective, but where like somebody brings their case to a judge mm-hmm. and then the judge actually legally gets to say like you're fucking stupid, right? Get out of here. Just shuttle them off. Get out of here. Get them on the dumb bus. And <laughs> put them out in the desert. Like you risk when you bring your lawsuit into the court, you risk they have like these huge like goon security guards, mm-hmm. and you risk them being able to legally fucking grab you by the back of your neck and by your waist mm-hmm. and just old school fucking huck you out in the parking lot. And it makes a get whistle. out of here, dummy. Makes a slide whistle noise. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> to fucking toss you out there. Oh, gosh dang. They get up and they... <laughs> they have like the swirling stars. <laughs> Brad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> These shoes are unbalanced. I thought it was the business's fault I slipped, not my <laughs> chronic vertigo. <laughs> I, would, I would love, uh, in that situation too, I just love to think about, there would definitely be like a group of like teenagers and just like young adults who would just like hang out, probably like bring folding lawn chairs mm-hmm. into the parking lot just to watch people get tossed. Mm. Like what a great spectator sport that would be also. It'd be an American tradition. Oh my God. It'd probably overcome the Super Bowl. Yeah, you uh, place bets <laughs> and things on like, maybe there's like little, you make little lines in the parking there's lot and see how far they throw them. There's an interview on the way in that's oh that's that's projected on like a jumbotron. Oh my God, yeah. And, and then you hear the case uh-huh. and everyone uh-huh. gets to bet on whether or not the judge gets fucking thrown. Could you toss down the fucking staircase or <laughs> they, bring, they bring it to the district court. I know Judge Judy, uh, wildly popular. <laughs> yeah. Like one of the most successful Judge Judy actually has made more money in television than most like gigantic TV stars. Mm-hmm. Like it's I, like I remember hearing a figure. I want to say this sounds crazy, but I want to say it was over sixty million dollars a year. Um, but she just signed on with Amazon for like another run. She, I think she's like seventy or seventy one. So you know she just keeps going. This this would fucking finally topple Judge Judy as being like the most successful court program. Mm-hmm. If, it, if it was a similar, like hard-ass judge, <laughs> but then physical abuse gets added to the mix, mm. God, that's a fucking smash hit. I don't have a cool name though. I, I can't come up, it, it, it's gonna take mm. a while, but it has, it has to be perfect. Right. I know, I have some I don't bad, wanna, I don't I have some bad from... early suggestions, just like like the, the court of fuck you, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, but like nothing good. <laughs> right, yeah. right. I, have, I get stole from Pizza Factory. Dummy court. Which is like toss them or awesome. T- Awesome or awesome or awesome. So it's, <laughs> but, and, and, and they said we toss them. They're awesome. So right. maybe we do have some legal. It says toss them or awesome, <laughs> and that's it. It's either a fucking sweet ass, sweet ass settlement. See you uh, later, or you're getting tossed down the staircase. Did I ever tell you about years ago? I, I still have a coffee mug from it somewhere. I think, but years ago, I pitched a courtroom show. Mm, no, what? <laughs> no, no kidding. There's a sizzle reel somewhere out there online that I can get oh, a hold geez. of. Jeez. Okay. God, if I, if I remember it, I'm gonna write it down to try and b- play it for the show. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's funny, like Judge Ruby. <laughs> Judge Ruby. Uh, get it from Mark. There's a guy, <laughs> Mark Morgan. I did a, a, a sizzle with. We went and pitched it, but it was called Cummins Court. Just a nice alliteration, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was me settling like friends disputes. Mm. So like 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 a friends dispute. Like they they don't want to go to court from it. It's just over some like kind of dickhead move. Stole my whatever. pen. Yeah, you stole my pet, or like you Pissed know, in you, my bed. you know, we were roommates. And I mean, I guess I guess it was stuff that could have shown up in the people's court, but like petty things, or even like non-item things, but just disagreement. Like who's the asshole? Mm-hmm. And they would each kind of make their case. Uh, there was going to be dramatic reenactments, and then I would just like shoot it straight and just fucking rail one of them at the end and be like, "You're fucking dumb." Basically, what we're saying without right. throwing them, I'd be like, "Well, you're fucking stupid." Mm-hmm. And here's why. And then just kind of like run it down. <laughs> okay, go, yeah. case, case closed. Get out case of here, closed. You, you owe your friend five bucks. You owe your friend five bucks. Case closed. <laughs> your friend was right to not be friends anymore. Fuck off. Get out of here. <laughs> well, we haven't been friends for three years. We're waiting to get on this show. Is what they say. It's like, okay, well, continue <laughs> okay, not being good. friends. Keep doing that. <laughs> good. And I'm glad that we're so popular. You had to wait three years to get on the fucking show. All right, you want to hear the Would You Rather for this week? Yeah. Then we're going to do that right now. All right. Okay, go. The very super most important starting question. <laughs> Dummy Mike. Oh, Mike. It's a fun one. 
Yeah. Hope you got your vocal cords are. Me 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 me. Would you rather be president of the United States, but every conversation or speech slowly builds into you yelling at the top of your lungs? That sounds fun. Or you have no change in occupation, but have random three-second outbursts of severe Tourette syndrome every day. How many? I, that's E. So I think you don't it's know. just... You don't know. But at least one. I, at least one. Because it's every day. But randomized could be zero. In the grand uh, scheme of things, you could get zero that day. You see, you could but, get, it, but it says every day. Oh, that's fine. All right, one. So at least one. One, one. I'll, I'll go with one. Okay, at least okay. one a day. But randomized every day, that, that includes zeros. Okay. Doesn't it? That, that has feel, to. That, that feels loophole <laughs> Fucking but sure you, Louisville. <laughs> but I guess why not? But it, but it, but, I'm, but it might be like zero one day. But then out of the randomizer, for randomizing every number, mm-hmm. th- it, you might get one zero in your life. But what if you had a dice? Yeah. Ooh. Seven sided. Well, that's <laughs> and one yeah. of them zero. That's that's pretty good. And so zero can mm-hmm. show up. You can get a couple days in a row of no Tourette's, or you can get fucking six. <laughs> right. <You can laughs> right. Say, but the but the president thing is every time you talk, every time your you voice t- builds into a yell, <laughs> which. Um, I know he's not fun to talk about. That's Hitler. Oh, yeah. I mean, isn't that pretty much how Hitler ended everything? Why isn't Hitler fun to talk about? Uh, I mean, people, what are people... What are people... <laughs> oh, my God. Who's the have fucking... Fun? Woke culture is out of control. <laughs> now we can't... What, now, what, what did Hitler do? <laughs> what next? What did Hitler do? <laughs> if we can't talk about Hitler, who can we talk about? <laughs> what, he's a bad guy now? Is that what we're trying... <laughs> well, I guess what I meant to say was I didn't want to drag Hitler into my show. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is. I want I like the character of the guy who doesn't understand why people are worked up about Hitler. <laughs> what? Is it, are you fucking kidding me? Was it a stash? What people don't like his tiny mustache? <laughs> people don't like the way he walked? The way he threw his arm out? <laughs> was he a little short? The way he said Heil? Or maybe <laughs> right? I guess other people said that, not sure. him. Sure. Heil me. Uh <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you mean you put your arm out? Yeah, is that, that why was... you don't like him? I don't get it. Like, what's the big deal with putting your arm out? No fucking, who cares? I like the idea of somebody who knows about <laughs> Hitler but doesn't know about the Holocaust. Right. And Just skip that part. Like, okay, so he lost the war. <laughs> All right. He tried he, his best. He tried his best. So he, he tried really hard. He tried really hard. He, he tried to fight Russia and the Allies at the same time. It's hard. He won a lot of a lot of tiny wars and then lost the big one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's like that's yeah, like winning yeah. all, all all the games after the Super Bowl and you lost. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of different trains. So he likes trains. Is that a problem? And then people are like, Dan, Dan, Dan. No, no, no. The trains, are, the trains are real bad. Oh, choo, choo, choo. That's, that's choo, bad. Choo, choo, no, no, no. It's where they're going. <laughs> it's, no, no, where no. They're going. it's who's on the train it's and where they're going. You gotta stop talking about it. It's not just about the engines. <laughs> sure, you opened up a way to get across the country. <laughs> like, yeah, we get it. But that's not the important part. That's No, you're missing the whole part. Please stop talking about it. Please oh, stop. okay, all right. Okay, fine. Just fucking, fucking PC, please. The whole bar is just dead quiet. <laughs> it's just crickets. I guess don't get why we can't talk about how fun, maybe fun Hitler was. The guy who won't, I like that character of the guy in public who won't shut the fuck up about Hitler. <laughs> why can't I make it? Talk about Hitler. I've like, got an icebreaker. Like, Hitler. <laughs> like, you just get sad at Red, you just get sad at Red Robin. With your fucking family. And like, and just right out the gate. Why can't I talk about Hitler? Right. Just, just, just record scratch. <laughs> I see a uh, couple burgers named after some people. I see no Hitler burger. <laughs> and then, and then, whoever would be on your side is the last person you want to be joining. Mm-hmm. Some other guy cross like that's what I'm saying to my family. <laughs> and they all just both families. <laughs> oh fuck! Just stare at their shoes. <laughs> They're like, God damn it! Oh. I knew this was coming. Oh. I just didn't think it was going to be at Red Robin on a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> but you are right about him. That was why I think he was such an effective orator. <laughs> is, is he would just <laughs> like it was it was just so aggressive. <laughs> right. And people were like, oh, well, I, I, it's just like he pr- sounds pumped. He, he sounds pumped. I want to get pumped. It's like primal. Mm-hmm. It's like if you're yelling about, and then we got to do this, and then we have to be mad at these people. <laughs> and then we, you, know, you know what it reminds me of? What? Every I don't know school assembly or where <laughs> they're trying to get you pumped up, and they go, "I can't hear you." Yeah. But in this case, the guy that says that is looking right at you. Oh my god! And he goes, "I can't hear I can't you." Hear you? But if you don't yell, I'm gonna kill you. Like yeah. that's why they're like, yeah. "Okay, fuck, okay, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Pumped. I'm pumped about this." <laughs> oh my god, you guys can do better than that. Yay! Like that's kind of what I'm, Hitler was doing. I'm picturing now a Fuhrer kind of aggress- <laughs> aggression level uh, at, a, at a pep rally. <laughs> like just how absurd that is for like a like a homecoming game. <laughs> it's <laughs> or just this the announcer in general. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want? You want the mountaineers to destroy your school? And that's how the school's bad you want! You gotta get out there and you gotta kill him! You gotta kill him! Stick your out! Just like, like fucking craziness, which is like a high school freshman, be like, what the fuck is happening? Hey, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, Eye of the Tiger. Or some it's, other pet band yeah, fucking oh my. rally song. <laughs> bam, 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 b
<laughs> After screaming, <laughs> we gotta fucking get him! <laughs> Fuck those guys! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, we're gonna go if I win. <laughs> um, so, uh, dialing it back to the United States, I love yeah. the idea. I mean, every speech or conversation has to end that way. Oh, Which no speech matter. successful? Like you got that you yeah, have to have a bad. famous sign off line though. So you build it up <laughs> and you'd be like, and that's why this is America. <laughs> right, right. And then everyone's like, Yeah, he said it. Yeah, you did it. That's the only way you can maybe tie in this black magic yeah. uh, drawback that you have. But <laughs> not speeches. <laughs> so it's like, hey, <laughs> hey president, yeah. uh so and so is here to see you. Right. It's okay, bring them in! Yeah, like, everything. everything has to have this. Oh my god, for diplomacy that'd be rough. Mm. Like give like fragile relations with China. <laughs> you're just trying to get like the trade embargo removed or something, and then you're talking to like the chairman and and chairman. I don't, I don't know who the chairman is right now. Uh, I don't even think they have, I don't even think they have a chairman. I think it might be a president. Probably God, sure. You're probably guy. Uh, <laughs> hey guy. <laughs> but, but, but it would just be like, and I'm just so excited for us to finally have, you know, m m you know, settle our differences. And that's why we are going to do so much training with you all the time. It just, <laughs> so. are you ready? <laughs> I am glad that China and America are finally put away their differences. <laughs> just, just to this poor guy. He's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> they try so hard so yeah. that the president, you. Or me, yeah. whatever. You, they have all these important conversations. They want you there to hear it, but they try everything they can to not have you say anything. <laughs> and then at the end of it, they're going around like, sorry, yeah. we need a verbal agreement from everybody. Oh, God. Like, God damn it. So he just goes around the table like, yes, yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> if, if it's one word, will you fry with that? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> then you, I mean, you don't have, yeah. you have no room. Yeah, yeah, it's quick ramp -up. Yeah! Especially one syllable word like yep, that. We're fucked. Yeah. So no yes Ooh. or no's with that presidency. And the other one is just it's the random outbreaks. Throat after a while. Yeah. If I I know. All the time. It'd be, it'd be terrible. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take the Tourette's. Okay. When I really think about it, because that was fun to do a few times, mm -hmm. but all day, every day for four years. Right. I'm gonna have no fucking throat left. You have to hope that you don't win again. Right. So that's, that's eight years. God, you're trying not to win. You're going all the way back to one of our earlier episodes. We have to just hold up signs mm -hmm. and just, be, yes, you have a yes and you have a no. Mm -hmm. And you just have the common responses. So you right. don't scare the shit out of everyone. Yeah. And, and with lunatic, I'm not sure. I mean, good luck running for presidency if that's your issue. But you have to get it half. <laughs> as soon as you become president, <laughs> then that's you, when they're like, yeah. oh, shit. Oh, no, not another this guy. Right, right. Whatever this stability this is. <laughs> uh, and I feel like we already have Tourette syndrome in a way. Uh, around the office. Like, there'll be times you go, ha, 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 fuck! You know? <laughs> True. Okay. Like, between that, everyone's typing. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. I know. I do love the random outbursts. That is kind of the, the vibe around here. It's a lot of people, like, zoned into what they're doing on the computer, mm -hmm. but, but occasional just, like, crazy laughing. <laughs> right. Yep. I'll have the headphones on. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, damn. Tomorrow, you're going to love this. Okay. <laughs> and then... <laughs> just, you know, a little, yep. just make sure that you, people are still around. Yeah. You, have, you have some friends. Yeah, exactly. Most people all just be sitting on our computers <laughs> with their headphones on all day. True, so sad. Uh, you want to talk about, wait, I didn't, oh, yeah. did I do that? Doesn't matter. You did. Uh, maybe. Okay, well. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Three times maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to move on and talk about your mom because this story is awesome. Ready? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Zach! <laughs> Dumb in the wild. Have a look at this little beauty. And because you gave me a little teaser, I will say yeah. I'm happy to know that the Dan Toe saga yeah. continues. Yes. So this... So this <laughs> <laughs> We've just, talked about your toe maybe mm -hmm. more than our penises. So, which is... <laughs> true. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. for, for a recap, um, on the Get Out of Here Devil special and the tour that led up to that, I, was I did this joke where I referenced having uh, a, a spot on my toe, a spot on my toenail. Mm. Uh, possibly like a toenail fungus. Mm. And then it led to uh, going to the doctor talking about it because it would uh, it just looked bad. Mm -hmm. And I got some medicine and it would be painful, like really sensitive. And so it would like, uh, you know, run into the end of my shoe and it would hurt like when my toe would or the top of my shoe, whatever it would hurt. And then um, I start kind of like messing with it. I, I put this like lacquer on it for a whole year, prescription like toenail polish for a whole year trying to get rid of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it's good, and then all of a sudden, uh, I clip it the wrong way one day, and then all of a sudden it gets like cut, starts cutting into the side of my foot, and then the toenail starts kind of like it's a bad shape. There's too much space in between my toe and my nail. Yuck! Hits the top of my foot, smashes it, 
now I have like a bloody toe all the time. So this sock is then I have a bloody toe all the time for at least like a year after the lacquer. And how's it? How's it now? It's fucking great now. Oh, what? Okay. I went to a foot and ankle doctor. Well, last time we talked about it, it was doing better too. So it was doing better. And okay. now, yeah, it was doing better right after the uh, procedure. Now it's uh, healing. All right. And uh, healing really well. And then what was so, so crazy with my mom is so I'm dealing with this thing for uh, yeah a couple years, like three four years mm-hmm. of like uh, it looks fucking shitty. It's painful. It's this uh, whole deal. You're wearing sandals in the winter. <laughs> yep, wearing and, sandals in the winter. <laughs> and, just, and I, and I I see it. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my, another toe day. Yep, because my toe, toe day hurts for that Dan. day. Yeah, another, another fucking toe day for. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's actually really dangerous too, isn't it? Well, yeah, we talked about how um, um, Bob Marley. Oh yeah, but yeah. That, it can it can be there, there's cancer can be that can show up the same way. That's why I went to the doctor and I checked mm-hmm. to make sure it wasn't cancerous. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it can it can um it can present kind of a similar way. Well, what's crazy is actually the foot and ankle doctor told me that he doesn't think it's a, t- a fungus at all. It was just the way my toenail was shaped. My the lady who does pedicures, because I started getting those a few months ago because I'm tired of, I was tired of cutting the shit out of my toe. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, let's let somebody else do it. Great decision. Mm-hmm. Turns out they're way better than me at not mangling my toes. <laughs> what? And uh, and then she said today, she's like, no, I don't think it is either. Because she like sees fucking toes all day. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, I don't think it is a toenail fungus. So that was a whole fucking wrong diagnosis, possibly. Oh, man, poor her. W- waiting on the lab results for that. <sighs> oh, no, poor her. Just yeah. fucking. Just nasty toes all day. Hey, please quit bringing your fungi ass toes in here. <laughs> Get your toes out of here. <laughs> you fucking, look at these green Anybody beans. Anybody you. <laughs> these fucking gangly green beans. Of the fucking, <laughs> what am I, what am I yeah. doing with these? Right. I'm going to paint these? Okay. Well, how do I paint over green? <laughs> Like it's getting, it's getting my soul color up, unless we're going black. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my toe uh, is actually yeah, like lo- looks fine now, feels great. Well, Thanksgiving, I'm in Riggins, telling uh, you know my uh, I, and I had to like take like an Epsom salt bath once a day. I had to like you know kind of like put Neosporin on it. So mm. they're asking me like why I'm doing that, of course. And then I explain like the procedure I've had. Well, then <laughs> and I didn't even tell you this before. My stepdad and my mom both have had this same procedure uh, okay. years ago. My stepdad had it on one foot. My mom had it both sides of her big toenail, both feet. And she had it uh, like 25 plus years ago. All right. And what's it's so fucking frustrating. And it, and it worked for her. She's like, yeah, it's just to shape your toenail. And it's mm-hmm. like she was having like similar problems where it was hitting the top of her shoe and it was cutting into her toes. All the same stuff that I've been bitching about for a couple of years. I've been bitching about my toe for fucking three to four years. Mm. My mom knows about this. After I get the procedure done, and I tell her how good my toe feels. It feels the best it's had felt in years. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, that's kind of like how it was when I had my procedure. My feet <laughs> felt so much better afterwards. And she takes off her shoes, and it's the exact same fucking <laughs> procedure. We have the exact same shape of our toenails. <laughs> and it was so hard not to scream at her and be like, why the fuck <laughs> would you not bring that up? At any point during the last four years, when I'm like, man, my toenail sure hurts. How how would you not think, like, God. oh, I wonder if my son has the same toe situation that I had that a simple outpatient procedure fixed for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> Two and a half decades ago. Two and a half decades. Maybe so she, the best day of my life. Yeah. She just let me be in pain for several years. My life changed. Her life changed from that moment forward. Right, right. And she just fucking didn't bring it up. Didn't mention it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That that is ah! so ridiculous to me. Like I just can't imagine. Like like I would compare it to I had back surgery when I was in my twenties, mm. and when people talk about their back hurts around me, if they if they're curious, I will offer treatments, and I've offered treatments that have worked for people. Uh, John Huck, one of the guys that worked with me, I told him about Tai Chi. He had never heard of it. I had never heard of it prior to someone with back pain telling it to me. Mm-hmm. Worked like a fucking champ for me. Worked like a champ for him. I've talked to people about the lumbar, mic- lumbar microdiscectomy that I had years ago and said, like, well, here's how I recovered from it. Mm-hmm. Here's some things I learned along the way when somebody brings up back pain. I've been talking about fucking toe pain, <laughs> and my own mom had both toes worked on <sighs> and never thinks once. <laughs> I wonder if this would also help my son, well, who's sure. genetically pretty similar to me. <laughs> of course it would. Right, of course like, it would. It's like you called her in the middle of the night, and you're just like, yeah. I would rather die right. than keep dealing. Well, I'm, so, I hope, well, I hope I'm sorry. better. I'll Gosh. see you at Thanksgiving. I wish I, wish I, knew, I, knew, I, I wish I knew more about toe pain. <laughs> right, I've never experienced it. I've never experienced it, at least tw- not in the last 25 years. <laughs> right. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow. And I'm like, Wait, what was that last part? <laughs> How did you fix it? Click. Click. Me. <laughs> you can you just never, it's some like uh, baked beans kind of like secret that you can't spill. Right. I don't know, it's weird. We, but, we were joking earlier. Yeah, no, this reminds me of yeah. uh, like basically that's who humanity, a lot of humanity works that way. Yeah. Yeah. Where you take things, traditions, mm-hmm. and uh, treatments, whatever they are, you pass them down. That's how humanity works. That's how works. we get smarter. For most of humanity's history, right. that's the only way it works. Sure. Or, oral tradition, I'm going to take my knowledge of uh-huh. life, and I'm going to hand it to you. Sure. So you have a head start. Sure. And I, I mean, in some situations, you don't have that. Right. But there's still examples all around you yeah. 
of collective information mm-hmm. that has been uh, the bullshit has been weeded out. Yeah. And here's the stuff that works. Yep. So you, you take this and apply it Learn to like... Learn from my mistakes. Right, right, exactly. You take yeah. it and apply it to a tribal situation. Yeah. And it's like there's a family that's in a tent. Uh, the tent is weathered. Right. It's, it's fucking terrible. The family inside starving. Right. Uh, they have, a couple of them have passed away, and they're right on their deathbed. And then the neighbor, who is very plump, uh, uh, wobbles over and goes, what's going on? <laughs> he said, we just, we can't find any food. Right. And he goes, oh, fuck, I got a bunch of meat. And then I've, I've had it for years. I've had this, I've had this meat over here in years. I've, I have a freezer and like all this shit. They're like, oh my god, we, we're we're starving. We can't do anything. We can't start a fire. He's like, oh, you've tried this lighter. <laughs> and he just like helps them, and then their whole life is saved. It's, it's him holding exactly. out on that shit, watching them suffer, yep. watching them complain about it. But until they absolutely asked about the exact right. thing directly, they're just never going to bring it up. And, they didn't have time for it. I don't and, know. What it, I don't know how that happens. And with my mom analogy, it it would be like. The person, someone's fucking starving. Like I said, someone has like scurvy. Mm. Like they're they've had scurvy. The the borderline about to die from scurvy for years, mm. and then they finally in their fucking on their deathbed. Somehow they're crawling around. They're just delirious with hunger or vitamin deficiency, and they like just start. They crawl off to go die, <laughs> and then they make it to a fucking lime orchard, <laughs> right. and there's just so many lime trees, and it's, it was just like just right across the river that whole time, mm. and then like they're feeling better. And then they see this person who's been fine the whole time, and they're like, they tell them about that, like, oh my god, I just can't believe like there was these. I've been asking for limes for like so many years, mm-hmm. and it turns out they were right on the other side of the river. And then that person's like, oh yeah, I, I've been going there the whole time, every morning. <laughs> I've been going there the whole t- the whole time. Right. I've been complaining about scurvy. Uh-huh. You've been well, yeah. I didn't want to get it too, uh-huh. so I'd hear you complain it. I'd be like, that'd be a reminder for me. God, I need to go get some limes. <laughs> I just figured. I figured he knew. I figured he. Knew. I figured he knew. Maybe he just didn't like him. I, I just figured you liked to be in pain. <laughs> right. I just figured you liked to have. I figured on some level you wanted scurvy. <laughs> oh, and she goes, "Oh, that's why you don't assume." I get it. Okay. <laughs> now okay, I get it. I got it. Okay. 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 <laughs> anyway, you want some limes? Want some lemons? What are you? <laughs> Whole basket. Fucking, they're right in the back. Like back, uh, the, they're growing through the windows. <laughs> She's just picking them out above the kitchen sink. Right. Oh shit! You need one. There you go. <laughs> right. I'm doing this for two and a half decades. That's I, pretty funny. I picture, That's... I picture like, or somebody. Like, I mean, we could do a million of these, mm-hmm. but I picture somebody with like glasses, and there's like a family member that just fucking can't see. They can't read anymore. Bumping into shit. Bumping into shit. And then they're like, they're like, oh, let me hold on a second. Let me help you. And then they put on their glasses and they go help them. And the person's <laughs> constantly like, I just, if, if there was anything, if there was any invention that could help me to something. see better, uh-huh. just if something could say, I don't know, like magnet my sight uh-huh. then I wouldn't be dependent on you it'd be so good god I wish I could help you I just mm-hmm. hold on let me put on my glasses and just think about like <laughs> See, we, let me put on my glasses and read about this taking off the glasses and like doing this one mm-hmm. huh. like biting on the end hmm. as they think <laughs> hmm, one second this, this will come to me let me do some research on the internet I gotta go up and get my glasses first <laughs> <laughs> just completely like, ignoring hey did you know the glasses actually are what magnify your, your sight oh, what, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, you've been helping me for three years <laughs> right exactly well uh, thanks, mom. Well, it's gonna it's gonna come back around on her mm, at some point. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have some knowledge that she needs. You sneak in there and rip mm-hmm. her toenail off with some pliers. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. That's what that's what that's what I need to get back at her. Every good payback story starts with ripping a toenail off. Mm-hmm. That's what I've learned from I think a movie once. I just feel I just feel like some horrific there's some horrific like revenge thing coming up where it's like I know that there's a rattlesnake mm. like along the trail. I'm like ah, I'm not gonna tell her. <laughs> right. It's an always be planted back there. Mm-hmm. Like you let me suffer. You let me suffer. So I'm gonna see how you deal with the snake bite. <laughs> see how this goes. I, mean, <laughs> I I know to step off to the side because I can see the rattlesnake. But right. Maybe you don't. <laughs> she misses it. You go up and grab it and throw it at your <laughs> God damn it, snake. Then, I, then <laughs> too, I'm in too slow. <laughs> toss it up at her ankles. Then I'm in court and trying to explain like why I killed my mom by throwing a rattlesnake on her. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It was no, it wasn't murder. Mm. It was a payback of sorts. I, oh. fair, is fair It was a tit for tat. Mm-hmm. Is tit for tat now illegal? Mm. Like I'm just like fucking in a restraining jacket I'm in a, I'm in a mental patient jacket sure. just off in the corner no 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 no, no this is not homicide and this, this is fair this is fair <laughs> but depending on the judge they yeah. could see it and be like you know what that makes sense that makes sense your mom fucked you over on this toe I mean, thing his mom did that's why he's crazy that's why he's crazy his mom did let him suffer with toe, point, toe, toe stuff. pain for years toe stuff that'll do it mm-hmm. uh, toe pain and fucking tooth pain the worst God. tiny you know, little things that'll ruin your whole goddamn life you know it, it is that thing with like toe pain what's so annoying is you can't unless your like foot is ele- basically every step you take you're like that hurts mm-hmm. that hurts that hurts squish squish ouch ouch <laughs> ouch and it's, it's, expand <laughs> contract <laughs> and then it's like why are you cranky today <laughs> I wonder I maybe mean, because every step is pain <laughs> back pain was actually worse that way back back pain, back pain is really bad I feel I feel terrible my former father-in-law has chronic back pain and he's mm-hmm. a very 
chipper guy. Okay. He's a very upbeat, positive guy. And I have so much respect for that because mm-hmm. I had it uh, for several years before that surgery. And I, and I get like flashbacks now, but it's not daily. Right. And man, people who can deal with daily pain and not just be miserable fucks are saints. I mean, eventually you have to just, if it doesn't go away. You got to make your peace with it. That, that's yeah, so hard. I, it's so hard. You just got to be like, well, fuck it. This is going to suck forever. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, here we go. And at least at least I'm not on fire. <laughs> you just like make weird little mental deals. Well, at least I'm not burning alive. <laughs> Come on. That's that's your daily mantra when you wake up, your daily um, gratitudes. You mm-hmm. just you know, wake up, at least I'm not on fire. But I'm not burning alive. Back pain, I'm not burning alive. Back pain is so bad. Somebody who's on fire is like, well, at least I don't have back pain. I know. Ba- yeah, that is bad, how bad back pain. Is yep. the, oh, man. A little pinch, my, pinch my nerve back there. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. At least, at least I don't have sciatica. At least I don't have sciatica. <laughs> Says the guy on fire. It has to be that bad. <laughs> uh, okay, you ready to move yeah. on to Dumb Dumb Idiots? Yes. Then we're going to do it right now. Dumb. 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 Idiot. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is ridiculous, but it's also ridiculously funny. Okay. Uh, the stupidity in here and how you can get tricked into using a website like this. I don't know. So here we go. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe I'm just I'm just too young. Uh, okay. I would never have done something like this. Uh, you no. can correct me because you're old. Okay, so <laughs> Monroe County, Michigan. A Michigan woman charged with trying to have her ex-husband murdered pleaded guilty to multiple charges, including uh, solicitation of murder. Michigan Live reported that the terms of Wendy Ween's plea agreement included, name. <laughs> included a cap on the minimum sentence of 108 months. Mm-hmm. Owners of the website rentahitman.com Jesus Christ. contacted Michigan State Police in 2020 when they received a message about the website asking for services. Oh my God. Uh, so WJBC reported that Ween met with an undercover police officer posing as a representative from the website multiple times, not only asking <laughs> or uh, not only asking for X to be murdered, but offering two hundred dollars in payment. Uh, 200 bucks that's oh god damn dude if a hitman is beating up with you and you're like listen I got 10 bucks like I'll do it like you can't be that good at his job like he <laughs> he's struggling just as bad as you uh, I promise if you're paying $200 yes uh, and going to a website called rentahitman.com rentahitman.com <laughs> it's not gonna be good news god damn I would never I love this is a real website it's like going to like get big dick or something. Right. Bro your dick 8 inches.net. Yeah. This is <laughs> gotta be real. Enter. <laughs> yes, I'm over 18. Do you want your dick to be over 18 inches? Of course I do. Listen to the nonsense on the homepage of this website. <laughs> I know. Go it's for so it. great. Mm-hmm. Uh it just says the dark web is not safe, but we are. <laughs> And on rentahitman.com. As everyone should know by now that the dark and deep webs are not safe places to shop for your nefarious deeds. Like, it's so sarcastic. Mm -hmm. There are lots of potentially dangerous sites ripe with viruses, and fraud runs rampant there. Your privacy is not guaranteed, and your information could be leaked to thousands of less than stellar sites, including law enforcement. And that's no fun. Rent a Hitman is safe, secure, and available right here on the World Wide Web. (laughs) This this is a site for fucking idiots. Our our clients, I love this HIPAA uh, acronym they, they twist. Our clients' confidentiality is important to us, so rest assured that your information will remain private as required under HIPAA, and they spell out the Hitman Information Privacy and Protection Act of 1964. <laughs> oh my, all of our competitors' websites cannot say that and shouldn't be trusted. Capiche? <laughs> Got a problem that needs resolving? With over 17,985 U.S.-based field operatives, we can find a solution that's right for you. <laughs> How good Who, is that? That's so fucking great. Just a, have a preposterous like a, number of hitmen. Like how how www dot how do rich people hide their money oh dot net. God. Hi money laundering dot gov. <laughs> how do I get away with murder? Right. Dot org. Yeah. Like who's going? Who's going oh, there? It looks like below they have like um, situations that you would need a hitman for. Mm. Tired of getting bullied at school or in the office? Kill him. Y- yeah, we can we can make any troubled relationship disappear. My God. And then they have customer testimonials with their um, faces blanked out. <laughs> and they're just so stupid. <sighs> Phil from Florida says, Guido and his public relations crew were able to resolve a five-year <laughs> dispute in a matter of days. They actually say Guido. I bet you, like, obviously this is a joke. Yes. But it's so funny because they set it up and they actually caught somebody who right. reached out using the website. And they're like, what? How the fuck? How the fuck did you actually did you not understand here? this was a, was not uh, this was a joke? And I got I got good money. How much? Two hundred bucks. All right, let's meet up. <laughs> like two hundred dollars. I'm sorry if things are going that bad. 
Right. But goddamn, you're not get you're not getting sh- quality anything for two hundred bucks. Let's like God. a fucking number two pencil. I do. I do feel uh, so sad in moments for some people where it's like if you're <laughs> if you're just. I don't know what other word I can use. If you're, if you're that dumb, mm. where you actually think in 2021 that you can go to a website to find a hitman <laughs> right. and then pay $200 to have that hitman kill somebody for you, yep. your life is never going to be easy. <laughs> like, take any kind of toxic relationship you might be dealing with out of the picture. Uh-huh. Take any dickhead boss. It's never going to be smooth sailing. Nope. Because you just, you, the fucking synapses aren't firing <laughs> Uh, frequently right. enough right. and you know there's there's not enough little brain handshakes going on inside your head uh-huh. where one part's talking to another correctly not enough like uh, yeah well brain little business meetings right <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll do we'll do sit up at all your brain business meetings at the most <laughs> one cell is showing up right and where's everybody else big ass conference table big ass conference table where's everybody else we got an important decision to make I'm thinking, <laughs> well, I'm thinking about doing this website <laughs> fuck me I'll do it fuck okay <laughs> Does anybody have any opposition to me going to Hitman.com? <laughs> <laughs> it's just an empty room, projector, running, nothing on the PowerPoint because no one's there to run it. What a funny scene. <laughs> uh, guys, <laughs> um, check, in, check his little watch on his little brain hand. Someone said drinking bleach can help me get rid of a virus. Anyone, anybody? Anyone have any objections to me drinking this all this bleach? <laughs> yeah, we always have one guy on the side like, fuck it. Do it. Do it. Laid back Todd. Lean back Todd brain cell on the opposite side of the of the, of the conference uh, yeah, table. Man, totally like, I don't man, give it a go. Whatever you want. You What's know? the worst that could happen? Come I just on. I don't want to say no to you. I don't want to put that negative energy out there. <laughs> Vibe with it. Vibe with it. You Vibe know? with it. Love you. you gotta lean into it. Love you. Gotta <laughs> try new things. Get out there a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Okay. <laughs> Dad, love you. Okay, go drink some bleach now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mayhem. I love it. I love that that office seat. I got a five hour car ride coming up with no rest areas, and I really have to poop now. Should I go now or should I hold it? <laughs> Empty room. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards hold or trying to hold it. <laughs> they leave, then the brain cell comes in and goes poop. <laughs> God damn it! You're two hours in, the and that's and that's how that's how you shart. <laughs> Is that that brain cell <laughs> two hours late. into the car? <laughs> right. yeah, the other brain cells always show up late. Boom! You now. gotta go now. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to go now. Bye. <laughs> runs out of the conference room. All right, cool, bro. <laughs> uh, I really do. I do love imagining this like fucking <laughs> little corporation inside somebody's head where they're just they're not doing well. <laughs> no, they, can't, they can't put it together. And there's just a couple employees. They never mm-hmm. show up at the fucking meetings together or if they do, it's worthless. Yep. God, that's a really funny image. Super funny. Uh, I have a, a video to show you. Okay. Uh, we're going to watch it and it has to do with Idaho. It has to do with this region. Mm. And it's super funny. It's a call into uh, 911 about some dudes that were way too high. This okay. was sent in by dummy Ethan. And we're going to uh, take a look at it plus listen to it right now. Good. Ready? I am ready. It's a whole thing. It's a 911 call just released from law enforcement and obtained by EastIdahoNews.com that will have you shaking your head. There's two guys traveling from Las Vegas up to Montana with over 20 pounds of marijuana in their car. And according to court documents, the two men were using some of that marijuana. Well, once they reached the Idaho border, they said they felt like they were being followed by cops. And they got up to Rexburg. They pulled off the freeway. They called 911 and... Well, you just have to listen to the call. Madison, can I get anyone? Hi, uh, where are the two dumbasses that got caught uh, trying to uh, bring some stuff through your border and all your cops are just driving around with like a bunch of jack wagons? I just really would like you guys to end it. If you guys, if you could help me out with that, you just like to get, get on with it. What? You got caught doing what? Ah, uh, God. Okay. <laughs> um... We kind of got boots here, trying to bring some stuff across your Idaho border. Okay. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of your cops driving around a bunch of civilian cars just <laughs> not want to pick us up. I don't know what's, what's the deal. I was just wondering if you could help us out and just end it. What? Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can maybe call one of them? I don't know. It's getting cold out here, man. I just want to get warm and just get on with this whole thing, so... What? Okay. Where uh, where are you at right now? University Boulevard, right next to the gas station in Applebee's. But all your all your buddies are around us, so if you can help us out, it'd be great. Okay. Jesus. All right. And is it just you, or is there anybody else with you? Uh, it's me and my buddy that I brought with me, and then we have a dog that we're gonna bring back to its owner, but um. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, she's a really nice dog. She's not mean. She's a pit bull. Who, so. What is happening? Oh, she's cool. Okay. okay. She's really cool with the car. She can eat some food, too, so. Okay. Yeah, and what, <laughs> what was your name, man? Uh, it's Leland. Leland, okay. All right, hold on just one second. Okay, stay on the phone with me. My All God. Right, thank you. Nice guy. You know me to jump in the air and put my heels by for a lot. What? Do you guys have any like guns or weapons or anything on you at all? We don't have we don't have any of that sort with us. Just a bunch okay, of cool. Snack and stuff. <laughs> just, <laughs> right. no, I just want to make sure that just they're, they're just curious. You just got to laugh too. Tried walking away from the car a couple of times and nothing worked. We tried waving them down and didn't work. So I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, if you couldn't figure it out by now, yeah, uh, they got so fucking high, they just yeah. assumed everybody was cops. Yep. Classic paranoia. Yep, they just assumed every single <laughs> civilian around them is a cop. <laughs> an and they're, undercover and they're, cop. And they're tired of being harassed, they just want the arrest to get over with. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous shit I've heard on a 911 call. <laughs> and, and I'm somebody who is very opposed to people being arrested for marijuana. Sure. Or any drugs, to be honest. Right. But especially marijuana. But, uh, but these guys, holy <laughs> shit. Just so high. You got anything on you? No guns or anything? Just snacks and stuff? Just some crazy <laughs> weed logic. God damn. I love how it just makes no sense. It's like, well, who cares if they're uh, hanging around you? Just keep fucking driving. <laughs> I, love how they, I love how they said, we've walked away, we tried to flag them down. I know. Like, we got hey, like, just arrest us. <laughs> what? <laughs> and they're down in like Pocatello? <laughs> not, no. Not a whole lot of weed stuff going on in Pocatello. No, no. Uh, not the drug capital of the world. Oh, um, man. What a <laughs> couple of idiots. <gasps> That'd be so scary. But then you see like a, a grandma. Yeah. You're like, it's cop. Oh, that, that's how they get you. They think uh, the grandma's not a cop. Hey, go faster. And they get fucking in the car going, oh my God, they're everywhere. And making them to the point where they pulled over and you said, yeah. let's get to turn ourselves in. I just and can't... no one had any idea. Right. I just that's, a lot of, they, that's a lot of weed. I couldn't believe they wouldn't just go hide. But yeah, they're, they're just so high. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to be uh, reasonable. Have but you ever been super high? I have. A, I have a quick story that's ridiculous. Yeah, I've been. No, I've been. Uh, like I've, so high. I've been so high. I've been paralyzed. Oh, well, that's like, the. I, 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 I couldn't get off a couch. That's the worst. I've done that too. Yeah, like truly, like my body was uh -huh. like, nope, we're not going to respond to your signals anymore. My funniest, Slobbering. funniest memory um, was me and my buddies. We, you know, we drive out of town. We weren't smoking anybody's houses at that yeah. point yet. Uh, we drive out of town, go to like a canyon. And then get super fucking high, and then we'd all go back. Yeah. And we smoked way too much. This is the way too much weed to the, then go drive a car. Yeah. Uh, just a bad decision. Sure. But we're driving back, and we're on a, a side road. There's no one fucking out there. And we're listening to music, and I'm sitting in the passenger seat, and it's a car full. So all five of us in this little, like, you know, suburban uh, station wagon. Yeah. And we're driving, and we're all just, like, lost in the music, like, listening to it and fucking jamming out. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, it kicks in. I'm like, fucking, this is taking forever. And I look over, my buddy's driving. <laughs> He's going literally three miles an hour. <laughs> three <laughs> miles three, an hour. Three. Not suspicious no, at all. Not even, like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Officer, we're just being so <laughs> safe. <laughs> the said three miles an hour. Oh, my God. Which means, like, I don't even know if he was putting his foot on the fucking gas. Yeah, that, that's almost just the, <laughs> the idle speed. And we started laughing so hard, we had to yeah. pull over. And we just turned the car off. <laughs> and ran into the field and just uh, like started laughing as hard as we could but we couldn't sit around each other anymore right because we were <laughs> we were gonna die we were laughing so hard we could not even see each other so we all got out of the car and just ran into the field <laughs> in different directions oh, just to not be around time. and then you're in the grass and you can hear someone go <laughs> Like from <laughs> half a mile away, <laughs> and I just kick it off. Oh man, ah, that's awesome! Ah, the good old days. <laughs> Been way too high. It's the worst. So I can definitely see how it gets so yeah. high. You'd think that the oh everybody was trying to trying to get you. That's funny. Uh, the next one has to do with weed. Okay, and it's our apocalypse pending. We're gonna rip through it. Let's do it. You caught that weed pun. I did. You can rip through it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one was sent in a while back. Uh, it, it, it's been sent in by a handful of dummies. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it, it has to do with weed. Okay. But a South Carolina elementary school teacher arrested after a student picks marijuana edibles from the reward <laughs> box. <laughs> <laughs> How'd those get in there? <laughs> Oh God, I, I have no idea. Victoria. Um, I know. So a South Carolina elementary school teacher was arrested after a student picked up a pack of marijuana edibles, which are illegal in the state, 
out of her reward box in her classroom, police said. Mm. Victoria Farish Weiss, 27, faces possession of a Schedule 1 drug charge. Ugh. She turned herself into authorities Friday, the Lexington County Sheriff's Department said. Authorities opened an investigation into the matter back on September 23rd after a report that a Rocky Creek Elementary School student picked up a cannabis-based product from the reward box. That's probably like, dope as well. I know, that's what I was going to say. So, detectives confirmed during interviews with Weiss, uh, she uh, took a pack of edibles from the student and told him to pick something else from the box, is what they said. The oh student then God. grabbed another pack of edibles, Coon said. No students ate the products, he said. When authorities searched Weiss's home the next day, they found packs of edibles similar to the one seen in the classroom, police said. Uh -huh. So a different uh, news article said that the way she was identified, because that's what I was wondering. I was right. like, well, who the fuck? Little kids aren't going to really know what, yeah. they shouldn't know yeah. what, what edible looks like. Yeah. But the kid recognized it as something that was already in his own home that his parents would eat. Funny. <laughs> so he's like, oh, it's the same brand my, my parents eat. And that's kind of how it all, all unraveled. I here. hope she doesn't get in that much trouble. And I hope the person before doesn't get in that much trouble. Mm -hmm. But also so stupid, both of them. So dumb. Where it's like, yeah, just keep your shit. Oops. <laughs> use, use, use drugs responsibly. How high? Come on, be grounded. Keep it at home. Keep it, keep it in a little lockbox, whatever you need to do. Have, like, a, have a stash place. I mean, it's the missing link. Uh, how did it get in there? Right. And, and I bet you the answer is got super fucking high and put him in there. Mm -hmm. that, that's, I mean, that's the only way. And, and that's pretty irresponsible if you're so fucking high mm -hmm. in your own classroom yeah. as a grade school teacher sure. that you're putting the edibles in the fucking prize box <laughs> right. or in the prize stash, whatever. Put them over here. No one will find them. My kids no, are fine. dumb. <laughs> no, no kids. Her class sucks. The reward box, no one's touched it all year. <laughs> so she thought it was a safe place to put them. Right. So maybe that's what it was. She goes, my kids are fucking stupid. My kids are way too fucking dumb. Times tables, terrible. Reading, <laughs> I mean, awful. I, I mean, I'm teaching them. I, I'm teaching them. And I'm fucking There's no way they're going to learn. <laughs> I, last year, I, I, I mean, just last week, I told them that Africa was in Alaska. So, <laughs> fuck no, me, right? no, one, no one called me on it. <laughs> no, no one knew. Because I haven't taught them anything. <laughs> right. We're in Antarctica right now. Your job, you can, your job is so easy if you just start <laughs> off the year not teaching them shit. <laughs> That's why you stay in kinder Only kindergarten te teachers. <laughs> right. And all you do is just make it all up. Because what the fuck are they going to do? Nothing. Nothing. You just wing it. The year just stays easy because they don't understand when you're making mistakes because <laughs> you it, haven't taught them anything. Let it fly by. Just What's four it, times six? Who cares? A football field. That's what it is. Everything's right. <laughs> maybe that's where I... Maybe my teacher was high and that's why I have... like <laughs> Everything's football fields for me. <laughs> I'm just picturing the kindergarten teacher or, or first, second, third grade, whatever. Mm -hmm. No matter what, uh, you know, the, the kid picks, no matter what, you know, math equation they right. add up uh, or subtract, whatever, mm -hmm. every assignment is 100%. 100% <laughs> great job. 100% great job. They, they, they just fly through grading Wowzers. papers. Wowzers. 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 Awesome. Great job. 100%. 100%. 100%. All the kids straight A's. More time for me to smoke. School's like, oh my God, this is the best teacher we've ever had. Until like fucking standardized test day. Holy shit. Oh my These kids don't know anything. <laughs> She's already out of there. She took the whole reward box with her. She just needed a little bit of pay. Get some more edibles down the road. Uh, yes. uh, one Star Heroes double dipping in Riggins, eh? Yep. Let's do it! I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. So I, I know I have deviated from the origins of One Star Heroes. Because mm. it started off for a long time as like good businesses, well-rated. That then had people making petty complaints that right. they should, that they just shove up their asses. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we, we got into, you know, sometimes people making valid complaints that are just funny about terrible businesses. So mm -hmm. I am going to go, you know, back more towards, you know, people who shouldn't complain about businesses that are trying their best. Okay. These are just so funny to me. Okay. This is just, uh, and again, I have deja vu with this, so maybe we've talked about this before, maybe not. Talked about it somewhere. But Seven Devils Bar and Steakhouse has been in Riggins, my hometown, forever. And it is very much a local's place. And Riggins has a strong us versus them kind of mentality anyway. If you're from out of town, they know it, and they don't care about serving you. <laughs> and the, the, How would they know if you're out of town? Because you're not one of ten people. Yep, exactly. That's how they know. Yeah, and, and some people are like, oh, what, because I'm uh, uh, Hispanic? or No, no, no. They, just, <laughs> they literally know everybody. <laughs> right. They know, that, they know that you're not Bob. Uh -huh. You're not fucking Sherry. You're, you're not, not Ted or Lori. Right, you're not Ted or Lori, that's so you it. don't live there. <laughs> right, that's it. <laughs> not that hard. It's only a couple hundred people now, too. It's gotten I so know. small. It's like I 250 know. or something. It's wild. Mm -hmm. So seven, seven Devils, uh, you know, the rated... Pretty well overall, actually. Better than I thought it was going to be. It's uh, well, three and a half. All the locals. All the locals. <laughs> yeah, 54 reviews. Everybody in town got together <laughs> and tried to give it a good review. Uh, three and a half out of five stars on Yelp. <laughs> so this first one, Alan J. And what's funny is Alan J. Uh, does 
list themselves as being from Riggins, but I feel like they must have accidentally just wrote down Riggins, or maybe they were new to town. Hmm. But this is, starts off, you know, kind of a, a small here. We, we walked out after waiting for almost 30 minutes for a menu and service. We had to clean off a table just to find a place to sit. Worst customer service I've ever experienced. We drive down the road to River Rock Cafe and got service immediately. Hmm. And they are a little nicer down there for whatever reason. Okay. Okay, this next one, though, Brett K. from Grangeville. Not far away, but just far enough. An hour away. Not a local. Don't bother wasting your time on stopping in if you're not a local. Sat down, waited over 10 minutes, had to get our own menus. The bartender yelled at me, said a waitress would be with us. Two groups of people he knew came in after and got water and menus immediately. <laughs> after another 10 minutes of no service, I went to the bar to order drinks and food, was ignored. Hmm. The waitress went to other tables. <laughs> the menu looked very good, and the beer selection was diverse, but never got to try it. After 30 minutes of no service, not even water, we left. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Oh, my jeez. They're such assholes. That's brutal. That is fucking brutal. <laughs> Where you just go in, you're like, oh, what a nice place. Looks looks great here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, what I'd a menu. Get, lo, what a menu. I'd love to get some waters when you have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll get right on that. <laughs> and then they just go and just like help other people. Just oh, spit, excuse me. Spit on your table. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus. I, I went in with my uh, to another place in Riggins last summer with my grandma and mom, but they haven't like been to the local little restaurants for a while. Mm-hmm. It was like different people. And until they put it together that we were local, straight up just fucking ignored us. Mm-hmm. And it was dead. It, it is the weirdest thing. It's like, you guys need money. But they're so weirdly prideful about and so clannish <laughs> about like, nope, we're just going to – I just want to scrape on by and barely make it in life and only help people who also live here. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to fuck over my own future to get good brownie points uh-huh. from other people also barely scraping by who are just as miserable as me. <laughs> It's like that misery loves company, and it just spread into like the business mentality. <laughs> I picture that as like um, a cheer that they do at the end of like uh, town hall meetings. Yay, no money! <laughs> right, really scraping by, just like everyone else around me, and I don't care about my future because I live in Riggins, and we all do. And we're never gonna give in to the rest of the world. On uh, three, <laughs> hey, <laughs> just the worst. Uh, and there are, you know, I will say on a positive note, there's these uh, the Salmon River, like uh, oh my god, this new used to be Best Western. First time we stayed at this hotel down there, very nice. Okay. And there's a new grocery store. Oh, yeah, store. that one is nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. And there's a new grocery store, very nice. Actually, a kid I went to high school with uh, was working there and uh, saw another kid from my same class. Both these guys in my same class when I was there just the, the other day. And they seem to have a lot of pride at that location. Okay. So it gives me hope. All right. Maybe that can spread to some of these other old school businesses like Seven Devils. We'll find out. Jesse H. from Twin Falls, Idaho. So a ways away down in your neck of the woods. Uh, went out for my birthday on a Saturday night, uh, two, three, as my birthday is two, five, a Monday. It's okay. So for super important detail, mm-hmm. but it is actually for oh, the is review. It? Oh, it is. Okay. It, I know, but it seems I, weird. I, I, it was, seems weird that, that initially. Seemed, okay, good. Here we go. We decided to celebrate it at seven devils. Our group ordered food and drinks. My fiance brought it up, brought up that it was, that it was my birthday, asked for a birthday shot as most establishments do. This was not a big deal at all. Uh, as we already had a large tab and we're not looking for a handout at all, more of just a fun thing, the waitress came back and said, sorry, it's not actually your birthday, so we can't give you a shot. But if you come back Monday, we can. Well, sorry, but I drove three hours to celebrate in Riggins for my birthday. I won't be coming back on Monday. And as a matter of fact, I won't be coming back to your establishment at all. Since it wasn't actually my birthday, we all loaded up and went elsewhere. I'm sorry to Seven Devils that times are so tough they can't afford a birthday shot for a group that spent several hundred dollars. My girlfriend felt so bad she bought a round for us before we left since Seven Devils decided they were too broke to give out a birthday shot a day early. Congrats, you guys. You just lost several customers for being nothing more than cheap. Oh, and by the way, your finger steaks suck. (laughs) And your service is mediocre at best. (laughs) But I don't doubt this for a second, too. Like That is such a fucking dickhead move. You Mm -hmm. got a big party, but they're not local. And they're spending a couple hundred dollars, and the guy just wants a birthday shot, which will cost you fucking nothing. Mm-hmm. Like with the markup, is and because it's, it's not like uh, I guarantee you, Seven Devils does not serve top shelf whiskey. Mm. There's not going to be some uh, the fucking Macallan, uh, twenty one year old, <laughs> you know, some rare fucking bottle of whiskey or something where it's like it's gonna you know set them back a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks for a sure. shot. Mm-hmm. It's like no, it's fucking Jim Beam uh-huh. or Jack Daniels, maybe Maker's Mark. I'm sure Idaho Gold, Idaho Silver, uh, Idaho Gold, Idaho depending Silver. on which way you want to throw <laughs> what you want to throw up later. Got those two options. Yep, yep. <laughs> and they could have easily done that, but they're just like nope, just don't want to be uh, don't want to be friendly. <laughs> hope, to, hope to never see you again. Oh, yeah, we don't need your. Business. Business. Thank you. <laughs> We're barely scraping by, and that's how we like it. On three. Barely scraping by. Barely scraping by. Be miserable. <laughs> uh, hey. Jackie C. from Peoria, Arizona. Ooh, way out of the town. We did not receive any freebies from this restaurant. I do, however, 
want to comment about a couple of things. The food was great, but the service was awful. We sat in the bar, at the bar, and had two bartenders and one server. Each seemed uninterested in refilling our drinks. I mean, they would look at empty glasses and walk on by. We're sitting at the bar. Then when we did ask for more drinks, he made other customers drinks, locals, ahead of us. Then after getting their drinks, he admitted that he forgot what we ordered. Asked us again. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking iced tea, and they actually charged an additional dollar seventy-five for each cup of tea. Our food was good. I ordered the crab bread. My husband ordered steak, and both were delicious. However, the terrible customer service makes me definitely not want to repeat a visit there, as there are many other options. Okay, so it continues. Um, now this is, <laughs> this, is this gives me talk over no. So vibes. Oh yes. Great yes. food. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to deal with some shit before that. Deal with some shit <laughs> before you get your food. This one, these people were tossed out for oh, wanting to be boy. served. This is great. Whoop. Uh, this is clay from Lewiston. Not that far away. Made a reservation for 11 people two weeks in advance. We'd love to have you. They said arrived on time only to find signs everywhere saying we will not split checks for parties of more than six. <laughs> When we informed the server that we were never told this when we made the reservation, they refused to make accommodations for us. Sorry, no, they said. So we said, no problem. We'd be happy to split into two groups of five and six. No, they said. What? You won't let us change to smaller groups? No. You made the reservation for 11 and we won't let you change. We have an ATM and we'll show you how to use it. <laughs> First, you won't let us break up into smaller groups even though we offered to do that to meet your policy and now you're insulting us by offering to show us how to use an ATM? So three of us decided to just move to the bar and eat there. I don't the, think they meant to. That they guess there's a lot of people that show up that don't know how to work an ATM. <laughs> yeah, that might not have been uh, <laughs> no. them being dicks. They're like, we honestly get a lot of customers who don't know how to use an ATM. This is the first time I've ever seen it. <laughs> they haven't been out of their house in four years. <laughs> <laughs> the server and manager followed us into the bar and said, all right, we'll allow the three of you to eat and split the checks. But if one more joins you, <laughs> we will refuse. <laughs> While attempting to get an explanation on why splitting checks for more than six was against policy, only to have this policy changed to forbid splitting checks for six and then changed to forbid splitting checks for five and then changed to forbid splitting checks for four the server cut me off mid-sentence i said wait please let me finish she yelled get out oh boy they refused dinners for 11 gentlemen plus drinks they kicked out two former chief financial officers a former senior director of u.s information technology for a dow 30 global corporation i mean this is ridiculous Jesus. a senior and then they go on and on and on uh-huh. cardio pulmonary technology and more must be nice to have more business than you need. The rudeness and lack of customer awareness was stunning. We'll never go back. Uh, and we'll share our experience with colleagues and friends. Oh, my geez. And, th- th- and that guy sounds kind of like a douche. Sure. But the way sure. the way he like lists all these employees. But still, it's like that is such a stupid fucking way to run your business. Mm-hmm. And it is a funny thing when I go back to town. It's uh, when I ask my you know grandma or whatever about how the businesses are doing. I would say every couple of years, almost all of the businesses change hands. Mm. Like, like, and, and, and you never know which one's going to be open. Right. Right. Cause they close because of shit like this. Right. Like, and I'm fucking from there and I have tried to go to a, a couple of the places and some places, you know, like cattlemen's and stuff are fine, mm. but a lot of places like it is that crazy thing. If you don't, if they don't recognize you as having been from there, they just don't give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. And this is a, like, you're on this big highway. Like you the should only, want people that are your only be customers out. are people that are showing up, driving through, not to your town. Right. <laughs> like no one's moving in. No. So take their money oh and let God. them leave. They are in your town to make sure your town can exist. Yep. So take their money and they'll they'll gladly move on right on out of Riggins. Exactly. A couple more quick ones off, off of Google now. Okay. Where they have 4.3 uh, out of 5 out of 463 reviews. Way more than I thought they'd have. We, met a re- we made a reservation two weeks ago for 11, says Clay Nicholson. We would love to have you. We arrived on time and were greeted with multiple signs saying we will not split checks for more than six people. Okay, so that's, that's the it. same dude? Oh, wait, that's the same. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, no, no. Sorry. This is, uh, yeah, that's the same guy. So that's Clay. So he, co- he copied over to, to multiple different over. places. I, 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 scroll- I scrolled. He did. Lee Scott is who I wanted to read. Oh, okay. One year. Uh, war, sorry, one star. Waited for 30 plus minutes without anyone coming by to even take a drink order on a lightly crowded day after multiple polite requests for service. Table next to us was sat ordered and served, left and went down street in similar crowded place, immediately acknowledged drink orders taken, eating within 15 minutes. Mm. But that's a crazy thing where you go in and you watch the table next to you get their whole fucking process sorted while, while someone just flat out will not fucking give you even water. Mm. I, I, it feels like they just have this policy where like, nope, that guy, fuck him. <laughs> we're going to test his patience today. Right. I want to fuck with people. I want to get in a fist fight. Yeah. And we're going to see if we can do that. Brittany Hathaway, one star. We came to eat for our anniversary. It was not pleasant. Staff and management was rude, unprofessional. Another table next to us had to wait for over an hour to get their food and then asked for management. She came and walked away mid-conversation. 
I will not recommend this place. Plus, if it was disgusting, I love the walking away mid conversation. <laughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> All then, the way back into the kitchen. <laughs> right. Blah, blah 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 blah. And then I just thought this was funny. Uh, James Benson, one star, still in awe that I ate instant mashed potatoes in an Idaho <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> And there was a bunch of other That's reviews fair. that weren't along this theme that were like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dinner was made in a microwave. And mm. I'm going to say, you fucking nailed it. <laughs> yeah. You bet your ass. That's why I don't care about your money. Because it's a fucking hungry mint <laughs> that they just they just bought down the street at the new grocery store you were talking about. Oh, my God. And that's your meal. They just poured it out onto a plate, and you're fucking welcome. It, it is so crazy to me, though, that, that certain mentality, like people who can be their own worst enemies, like there's a lot of poverty in like mm. my home. Like like there's a lot of it. And because of the gossip, the rumor mill in the small I mean, town. Who's, who's killing it? Not, not is many people. A single person? Nobody, nobody that I'm aware of. Like has come into town in one of these businesses and is just killing it and is like making it really profitable. Mm-hmm. There's people who move to town with money already, or there's people like uh, up the river who have like big ranches mm-hmm. that make money off of their ranches or doing like guided hunts, those kind of like catering to rich people kind of things. Sure. But like the the business people in town, it's like, how the fuck do you not understand how much damage you do to yourself? Yeah. yeah. And then and then of course these businesses close every couple of years <laughs> because of shit like that. Shocked. Shocked. Yeah. Uh, it's cra- crazy that you should be nice to your customers. What a, what a crazy thought. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Wow. When did they figure this out? <laughs> if no one told me. Weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. We've been, uh, been down to Riggins yeah. going to uh, this exact place. Yeah. Uh, they were not nice to us. But I also wouldn't yeah. have been nice to me and my friends. Right. Like you just saw like five frat bros. Yeah. Walk in looking for steak. Hammered drunk. And there is some of that. So the, I, I. Yeah. But this is yeah. not that. No. Like if I showed up with my family. Right. Like sure. For one hundred percent, like right. you bet, you better like just treat us as a customer. Yeah, but if yeah, frat dudes and tank tops, yeah, <laughs> probably not. Like, I mean, I would have kicked us out. But even then, we brought our own beer in. Come on. Oh, did you? Yeah. All right. Eventually, I mean, they wouldn't. Fucking, well, they wouldn't give us anything. Then that's on them. So our buddy went out and grabbed beer and brought them in. That's hilarious. <laughs> Fuck them. Well, yeah, agreed. They and still serve us. Fucking, I'm sure they spit on it and jerked off on it and <laughs> stuffed it in their buttholes. But we still ate it. We had to get back down to the raft. So whoever's running Seven Devils Bar and Steakhouse now, come on. Come on. Be, not, be a little nicer. Turn it around. I don't want to see that, like one of the few businesses that is in my hometown die. <laughs> Next road trip we go, we'll, we'll swing by. Swing we'll by. see how they do. I, we got one local, one not local. Okay. But I'll wear like an Idaho shirt or something. Maybe they'll buy it. <laughs> well, there you go. It'll be, they'll work. I'll wear a hat and a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> they'll work. Blend right in. Blend right in. Uh, and then our, 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 our good news for this week, Sliver yes. of Hope, uh, has to do with one-star reviews. Does it? Yeah, let's get to it. Sliver of Hope. Okay, so this was sent in by Dummy, I think it was Landon? Yes, Landon, that's who it was. Lando Calrissian? Uh, no. Oh. What? Star Wars? Is it, is it, oh, no, come on. I don't mind. I dork. <laughs> <laughs> a restaurant owner has been hailed as a legend for taking a one-star review and printing it on a line of t-shirts. So we can get into this more and more, but I'm just okay. going to jump down here. Uh, you kind of get the gist of it. They have pretty good reviews. And then they had some anti-mask people come in. Ah. So they whoa. refused to let them inside, but then they offered them a space on the patio. Yeah. And they lost their shit. And this is what their review it read. Oh my god, it's this so good. place is full of satanic activity. As free breathing humans, we were discriminated against. The wait staff refused to serve our laughing, smiling faces. I cannot believe the treatment we received here as if we were below them. If you like freedom, go elsewhere. I, I like the Satan reference. What a what a random that's, reference. And that's why they turned it into a goddamn t-shirt. Oh, nice. So right here. This place is full of satanic activity. That's a funny uh, little uh, devil guy. Mm-hmm. They got wearing little a mask. devil guy wearing a mask and then has the one star review oh, uh, in full. Yeah. Uh, written down below it. That's a cool looking t-shirt. I know. And they made it for their staff. But then their staff liked wearing it so much that other people asked where they could buy it. And then it, it, it blew up from there. That's awesome. And outside of that, outside of the review that was left there, they do have uh, great reviews. Uh, Stokes, the owner, said, When I first saw the comment, I was among about a dozen. It was, am- uh, it was among about a dozen other one-star reviews with similar comments that all came in on the same day. So huh. they went back to their little, <laughs> yeah, little, yeah. little circles yep. and said, fuck these go, guys. Go, go get these guys. So they, they all went and did the same thing. We don't get many bad reviews. On average, uh, 4.5 stars. So it was yeah. odd to have so many in a short period of time. 
And that was pretty much it. So, yeah. Uh, my decision to print the review on a shirt was based on the first line of the review. This place is full of satanic activity. <laughs> he added they had grown up in the era of the moral panics over satanic cults and accusations of devil worship. So he just wanted to yeah. uh, throw it back in, you know. And what's the name of this business? With it. Uh, God damn it. I, I knew it a second ago. Uh, it's in oh, South yeah. Carolina. Yeah. Oh, man. It's something rotisserie. I think it's Leon. Oh, man. Maybe you go to the start of the article. Sure. It All right is... there. Luna. Luna Rotisserie. Yeah. Luna Rotisserie in Durham, North Carolina. Boom. There we go. Luna Rotisserie. So if you want to go to Luna Rotisserie in mm-hmm. Durham, North Carolina, that's where you can see the shirt. I know. How fun is that, though? So fun. Just taking it and being like, how about we make some money off your dumbass? Yeah. So there you go. That's happy yeah. news. That's happy news. I uh, found something on the internet. You want to see it? I like seeing things on the internet. Okay. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek together as a couple to you from internet. Sent in by Dummy Chad. Chad. You know what Crocs are. I, I think we familiar, all do. I'm familiar with Crocs. Those are sandals. Waterproof. Are you plastic. familiar? And being from Idaho and a town, and maybe these are popular in the city too, I guess wouldn't think as popular yeah um on the back of trucks and they like hang some testicles off the back of the truck oh, yeah you have some Very balls familiar. on your truck yep yeah mm-hmm. uh, so there's a term for it oh something I think it's nuts called, but i can't remember i think it's called fucking stupid it might be called stupid it should be called fucking stupid but i've seen them yeah i haven't, many seen, times. I haven't seen them for a while but yeah. you have a nut sack you could hang off like the trailer hitch mm-hmm. pretty mm-hmm. much yeah uh so anyway that's on crocs now there you go oh nice so they make um some little plastic uh, scrotum, some balls that you can hang on the back of your Crocs. <laughs> croc tickles? 17 balls different for colors for your Croc nuts. Look at this. 17 colors of Croc nuts made in the USA. Load up. There we go. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Dark, dark brown, brown dark light brown, blue, light blue. Mm. I'll get some pink nuts. RWB. A little orange scrotum. <laughs> a little silver. Mm-hmm. I want you to get like, diamond. Some gray. Diamond's gray not there, balls. but whatever. What <laughs> whatever the hell. Whatever type of Crocs you have, you can hang some testicles off the back end and assert your dominance. I like it says, add some oom for it counts. Mm-hmm. The most important accessory you can add to your Crocs. And made in the USA. USA. Put those nuts on your Crocs. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't oh. that funny, though? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm not going to link to it in the fucking episode description. No, we don't want to get in trouble. Nope. So if you want some Crocticles, some balls for your Crocs, just search for it on Amazon because they're available right now. Can you pull up the one-star reviews on that on that Croc Nuts? Yeah. Uh, I'm curious what just the top ones show. I'm curious, like, who's, who's taking the time to, to get give, mad about them? To get mad about Croc Nuts. All right, let's take a look here. And I'm just... There's not many. There's not many? The fact... Like, so there's a plastic, not rubber. Zach is <laughs> mad about it. The fact that these are considered Croc Charms leads you to believe they are rubber or rubber-like, as other Croc Charms are. <laughs> but oh my uh, God. the they are actually a hard plastic. Very disappointed. That was I like that one. That was good. I just, I just love somebody orders fucking nuts <laughs> for their Crocs for their Crocs, and then they're mad about the the, the material it the was quality, made out of the quality. And they and they, and they take the time to go on Amazon when I spend my hard earned American dollars for my Croc nuts. <laughs> I want some rubber nuts as God <laughs> intended to be put on crops. That's a good Lord. Not these satanic plastic nuts. <laughs> right. You get it. My God. They should put little jingle. What's, what's, what's going the... on in your life when you're that fucking guy? What's going on in Zach's life? I don't know. We should Jesus ask him. Christ. Zach. Zach, you left that review. Yeah. I, I suck, I think. <laughs> okay. Basically, <laughs> yeah, just that's fine. I'm, I'm terrible. Bye. How's your belly these days? S- smaller. Good. Zach, Zach right. is in the best shape of all of us now. I know. Um, Zach's a great guy. What the uh, fuck? They stopped making those burritos, so mm-hmm. what, what's a guy to do? It is ridiculous. Force change. Force change. I'm going to die of a heart attack in a couple of years, and Zach's <laughs> going to live to 103. Mm-hmm. He's going to be He's gonna be like Jack LaLanne. He's going to be fucking pulling boats across harbors with his teeth. <laughs> fuck yeah. All because we fucking tease him about eating gas station burritos. <laughs> I love it. Uh, he's going to have a fitness infomercial. If you make the, the crock nuts, you're out there listening right now, you missed opportunity right now by having jingle bells, balls. On the back of the Crocs. <laughs> Holiday season, get a little jingle in there. Get, get some jingle. You get some more some more sales. Uh, we've got one person to hear from this week for junk mail. Okay. Let's do it. It's junk mail! Just before we hear this junk mail, mm-hmm. do you, if you need a sound bed that you don't have one that you like, I'll just offer my services. Okay. I've been working it over my head, and I've gotten pretty good oh boy. at... Playing Eye of the Tiger okay. as, as a like a mouth high school pet band version. All right. Um, I, I feel like I held time pretty well. You did. 
Okay. You hire you for weddings. <laughs> I, just, I just want everybody to know I'm available for weddings. It's fi- it's it's a special skill, so it's a hundred thousand dollars. What if you had a high school graduation, you had to walk to that shit? <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't afford the band, but we have this guy can do it with his mouth. <laughs> I'm just they get a microphone near me and just like ask me. And we have uh, Ryan McAllister now the solution. <laughs> <laughs> just the saddest music. high school team running out there for like, for like big homecoming game senior night and then you're just in the corner with a microphone doing eye of the tiger <laughs> layups <laughs> jumpers <laughs> just dead in the eyes just staring straight ahead just the whole game always making adjustments always making little adjustments like on your treble Adding reverb and stuff. You got a little, little pedal that adds echo. <laughs> You're sitting in the corner of the gym. <laughs> ah! Okay, so uh. <laughs> moving on to junk mail, our, our one and only piece of junk mail coming in from Dummy Acacia, who writes, Hey, fellow dummies, currently listening to the episode where you guys were talking about doing dumb shit when you get angry and try to fight someone. Uh. Is that every episode? Uh. Uh, it got me thinking about two of uh, many hilarious dumb things that I've done in the heat of the moment. First... When I was a kid, 12 or 13 years old, my brother and I got into a big fight days before my sister's wedding. (laughs) My parents had just done a bunch of work to the house since a lot of extended family was coming to stay. I honestly can't remember what we were even fighting about. We were home alone and my brother locked himself in his room and wouldn't talk to me. So I turned around and high kicked a living room wall and put my (laughs) foot through it. That's awesome. Mind you, my foot was above my head. And the best part is, I couldn't get my foot out, and I had to beg my brother to help me as tears ran down his face from laughing so hard. Oh, I bet. He definitely let me stay there as long as he could. My parents were pissed. Oh, I bet. What a funny image. That is such a funny image. <gasps> like, <laughs> it's that's, like, a, that's, a, that's an impressive kick. It is. hey And uh-huh. they just stuck there and dangling. fucking stuck in the wall. <laughs> It's funny. God, that's very funny. Oh, I'm trying to think. I, I know that, that that's happened in, in other situations where like you're and you have to go back and like, God damn it. Like if you're like super pissed at somebody, you're like, you know what? Fuck you. And you get in your car and <laughs> fuck. Can you jump? Can you give me a jump? Can you jump? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's nothing worse than having to go back into the person you're already pissed at. Uh, yes. Ask for help. Second. Early in my husband and I's marriage, we had gotten into an argument uh, while I was unloading the dishwasher. He went upstairs, and in the heat of the moment, Mm -hmm. I threw a fork at the ground. After a few moments, I realized my shin was burning. I looked down, and the fork didn't hit the floor. (gasps) It hit me right in the shin bone. Man, she was worked up not to feel that immediately. And I still have uh, four perfect fork dots on me. My husband still to this day doesn't let me live it down. I bet not. Anyways, I hope he's made you laugh. I'm a huge, huge fan. You make some insane days home alone with my terrorist toddlers bearable. All the love, dummy Acacia. Thanks, Acacia. Yeah. I love the temper. I love the fire. Yeah. No, uh, so, but so far, she gets mad when it hurts herself. <laughs> and it's, I, I'm one of those. I'm yeah. one of those. Like, I've mm-hmm. never been a big fight guy. Mm-hmm. I've gotten in fights. Yeah. But I, I will, I will definitely I think pu- most, most hurt myself younger, first. Right? Like, I will punch yeah. myself in the face. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I've done that plenty of times. Just out of pure frustration. <laughs> we just don't want to, like, you don't want to punch a wall. You don't want to punch another person. Right. So I just punch myself in my face until it really hurts. Then I have to worry about that <laughs> instead of, like, what I want to do. I haven't done that. Do you ever punch yourself in the face? No, I don't, think, I don't think I have done that one. That's you a member of Fight Club or something? Yeah. No, no, but I wish I was. That'd I've, be a lot better story. I've encouraged other people to punch me in my face. Mm. Uh, like, like More like, like slaps and stuff. Mm-hmm. The only time I encouraged somebody to punch me in the face with a fist was in grade school. And, and so stupid, like uh, I wanted to punch me r- right in the nose. So yeah, I think somebody told me like, your, your nose will explode. It's like, and I was like, no. And, then I, was, I, and I remember this kid didn't want to <laughs> do it. Cool. And finally he did it and he reared back. And sure enough, he fucking hit me square in the nose and my nose went pop oh. and there's blood everywhere. And then I, and then I told on him. <laughs> and, you dick. Yep. And then, and then, but then he, but then my mom got m- mad at me because, uh, you know, I did admit, he's like, he's like, you told me to. And my mom was like, did you actually tell him to? I was like, yeah. <laughs> right. And so then I had a bloody nose and I got in trouble for being a tattletale. <laughs> hmm God damn. Yeah, it was a rough day. And then this is where your life is now. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? How, how did he get here? Well, when he's a little kid, <laughs> his legend has it. He had a friend punch him in the face. His nose blew up and he got in trouble for tattling. It's never been the same since. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got 
just, just in a corner. They just like they just move a, me whatever. You have a single chair. Got a little pedal that gives you reverb from time to time. <laughs> That's all you get. I just picture him in a nursing home, fucking <laughs> facing the wall. Uh-huh. Like they, they can hear me coming. The nurses when they're walking. That's uh, that's Tiger. Hey, uh, t- tell hey, Tiger, Tiger hi. <laughs> hey Tiger. Danny, <laughs> Danny <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> Come on, Danny Come on. Tiger. It's a fucking, it's a whole show. <laughs> you, oh, your kids are probably oh, passing. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, kids, yeah. It's kids show. Okay, yeah. That's where, <laughs> that's where it all came from. Uh, okay, that's it. Fuck this show. Oh, we're, are we out of here? I think so. Okay. We got to wrap it up. We got to move on with our lives. All right. Episode 70 is over. Mm-hmm. Zach Flannery, <gasps> you're out there. I am. And you did it. You made it all the way through. Yay. Thank and last you. and last week we tried to lose our whole episode. We didn't do it. Yeah. So nope. good job, Zach. Thank yeah, you. Good job. Love you. Let's hope we didn't this time. I know. Uh, thanks to Zach Cohen creating some of the custom, custom music beds for the show. Logan Keith, all the merch for everything we do here at Bad Magic Productions, and we have that new Is We Dumb Christmas sweater. Go check it out. Pick it up. Be the coolest looking motherfucker at your holiday Christmas party. Sweet. <laughs> BadMagicMerch.com or IsWeDumb.com. You can follow us on our socials. Just look up Is We Dumb. Mm-hmm. Private Facebook group, Is We Dummies. I think we're, we're close to 15,000 in there. Nice. Narrated by Liz Hernandez and the All Seeing Eyes. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, I guess. If you want to look at blank screens, sure. just search for Bad Magic Productions. <laughs> we're, we're, we're coming back. I think we figured it out. We're just going to wait for these strikes to disappear. And Fingers crossed. Hopefully it's all water under the bridge. And if you have some stuff you want to see on the show, send that into dumb at iswedumb.com or general questions to info at iswedumb.com. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to get you this week. You yeah. ready? Can you play w- w- while we do it? Can I have some church music again? Oh, underneath, uh, want, underneath uh, what uh, the uh, next part? Is it, the, is it a dad joke? Yeah, it is. I want I want church music for the dad joke. Okay, please. I'll get that set up. Uh, Zach, you push the thing, and then here we go. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Wow, meet dad joke. <laughs> uh, ready? Yeah. Okay. This was sent in by Dummy Misty. Okay. Where? Oh, this is so. Oh my god! You didn't even know. I didn't know. You didn't even know, and it's Mm. it's way better than you could have ever imagined. Okay. (laughs) Where do you go to learn how to make a banana split? I'm trying to think of something church related. Sunday school. Oh! (laughs) Yay! That was perfect. You didn't even know. I didn't even know. And this the church music thing was about 30 seconds before we started. We were like, we're some church music, so we could apologize. I'm so excited. I gotta celebrate. Thank you.